As we rejoined the Great Citadel, we have a Breach Capsule Proximity Warning, which we got really at the end of the last one. I mean, technically. Yeah. Incoming Breach Capsule. We can now see it. Ideally, it's only one. Here, can I, like, zoom way the crap out? Okay, it's only one. So far. Um. Okay. I mean, at this point, it's gonna be what it's gonna be in here, because, um, I don't know. I don't know who has the guns. I can't seem to figure out how to make the people drop the guns and let the robots carry them. So, yay and stuff. And there's no guarantee that this thing's going to pop out right in here. I mean, it sure looks like it's this area. I mean, it'd be great if it popped out right in here, which is the general gathering area or where everyone is supposed to be in case of emergency because bunches of them have guns, so, um, you know. I don't know how many, but some of them do. Whatever. We'll give it a minute here and see what, what happens. There we go. Okay. They're gonna come in right in here, aren't they? Boom. What is that? Um, okay, that is some <laughs> C-42 just lying around. Can we maybe... Oh, wow. That's fascinating. No, I don't, I don't want anything to do with that. Um, can we relocate that maybe to like, uh, I don't know, there, there. Someone just go ahead and relocate that. That'd be, that'd be spectacular. Although maybe not you, cause you have, um, actually, you know what? Go ahead and relocate that one too. Because you have a gun and I would prefer the robots with guns to come hang out over here. So you, what are you doing? Can I override you and just have you come hang out over here? Your new favorite is to spend time right here. What about you? I can't, can I, I can't tell you to do anything, which is obnoxious. I really wish the people would listen to me. So we got one guy with a gun, two of them with guns. Oh, look at that. It's going to get ugly because y'all didn't expect us to be armed when you popped out of your breach capsule, did you? No, you didn't. Well, that's what you get for not knowing what you're going to get when you pop out into the Great Citadel. That's right. Um, I don't know what's happening in here. Are you just going to come in and start punching? Because you're an idiot, if so. So are you. Okay. I mean, these guys are just going to get wrecked. I mean, uh-oh. Uh, our guy here might also get wrecked. Can I... Oh, whoo Oh, there's a knife, a knife. I didn't know there were knives in the game. Or I don't remember seeing them anyway. Can I have you like, I would really prefer you to go repair. There you go, that's a good, good decision. Go repair. In fact, I'm gonna speed up the game so you can go faster. Get some good repairing in, buddy. You deserve it. You earned it, and then some. So, we got a breach capsule just sitting around here. We'll disconnect, destroy, whatever that in a minute. Knife, huh? I don't remember there being knives in the game. I wonder where you make a knife now. Is that maybe in like a, a crafting station? I don't know. That might have been added to the game since I last played. I'm not sure. Uh, if we have you doing that and we stop producing transistors... Transistors are still in there. Okay, that's fine. By the way, I don't remember if I mentioned it, but one of the best changes ever is Escape now just closes things rather than opening up some random menu that I don't want you to open up because, oh boy, that really truly is a, a good thing. I don't know if that's titanium that we bought at some point. I'm, I'm not really sure. I, I don't know. Here, let's go ahead and order the deconstruction of this breach capsule and we'll... I guess move along with whatever it is we're doing. So I got to catch up because I knew we were getting invaded, but I didn't remember what in the world we were doing. So we're currently working on processing efficiency and we're getting really close to our maximum memory usage here. I mean, technically, I don't think anything will do 36. It's like 32 and then goes to 48. So in some respects, that's kind of a meaningless statement, but just the same. It's an observation that, yes, we should probably build some more memory modules. Although I'm kind of hoping the processor efficiency will help 
with some other things. I'm just kind of looking. I'm debating if I want to destroy some of these walls and build some new ones to build some uh, reinforced ones. We've arrived at our destination of Bakeland 5, so I want to take a look at Bakeland 5. So we've got silicon, iron coal, rock, and copper. So we're going to go ahead and enter the planet, and our expedition crew looks like it's primarily humans, and we are going to make it entirely humans, because I do not want... Hey. You're not part of this, so there you go. I want you to be part of this. I do not want any of the good, useful robots out and about down there on the planet. I'd much rather use our useless humans to do that. Um, not, uh, not what am I looking for? Knife. Is there a knife? Okay. I definitely saw someone slinging a knife, so I'll figure that one out later on. It's not, it's not super important right now. Let's go ahead and get some repairs ordered for everything here. For the most part, we're okay on power, I think, because we're technically under. And where are we with our research station? So we've got uh, three of them, and no one's doing research. That's helpful. That's very helpful. Uh, what are you doing? Talus, the iron droid you are cleaning, because there is some cleaning to be done in there. Okay, that's fair. That's fine. So basically, at this point, I think what we're mainly looking to do is go into our research queue here, get some more of this crap done because we kind of lost a bunch of robots and drones. And then I think we need to go over to space travel, which I don't even know where that is anymore. It keeps moving on me. Space travel, it's over here. We've done the advanced propulsion. So FTL propulsion is going to be 128 memory. Holy crap. Um, let's go over to computing. Where is computing hiding these days? You're next to entertainment. Ooh, there's new things over here. That's not discovered, and that's not discovered. Interesting. I don't know if those are... I don't remember if there were two, if there was one. That's what happens when you haven't played in, like, a couple days. I specifically kind of leave a few days between playing, because I like seeing that this game has had a ton of crazy upgrades by the time... Uh, upgrades, updates, whatever, by the time I come back and play again. I think maybe we need to get a security control because I suspect that's going to help us out. Let's go to our research queue and we're going to put security controls above everything else because whatever. I mean, if we can do some dual research, I'm okay with that, with whatever's going on here with uh, these guys, except no one's actually researching. I have a feeling all the researchers are on the planet harvesting stuff. Maybe wrong, but that's kind of my, my suspicion now. Do we need to increase our stockpiles yet? I mean, technically we do have storage space in these guys, but I don't know that we have a ton, really. I mean, it's a little over half full, and this one has, well, three quarters, four fifths full, basically. I'm okay with that. I think, for the most part, we're rolling pretty well in all of our materials now. So I think it's probably a good time to dedicate a moment to rebuilding some of these things here. Although some of that's going to be challenging because like, I'd like to rebuild these walls here. And then that probably would require getting rid of solar panels to really make that happen. I guess what we could do is we could do some arrays over here. That's these guys, right? We don't have the big, big ones yet. Just the arrays. We could add some arrays in here. And I'm okay with that because... We basically always have a use for power. I don't think we're ever not going to have a use for power, so... I'll just do some more of these guys. That one... Uh, no, that's fine. We'll do it like that. I don't know if I want to do tons of them or not, but... We're going to kind of run into a wall here because of all this stuff. And that's okay. That's not a big deal. I suppose what we could do is, let's do some reinforced walls, and we'll queue these up to go right here, 
And we'll replace that guy there. And replace that one. And then what we'll do... Don't do that one just yet. So we'll let that all queue up. So what they're going to do is they're going to build everything here. And then we're going to add another wall right here. And we'll remove this interior one, which will give us room for some more solar panels in there. So we can go crazy with the arrays. I know, you can reach those things. Trust me, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine, you're fine, you're fine. Coffee bean production is going just fine. Speaking of fine, we're not storing any coffee in there, which is obnoxious, but whatever. Guessing everyone's drinking it too quickly. I don't know. Whatever. It's cool. It's not a big deal. I don't know if anything was anything else was added to the entertainment line, so I just want to take a quick look at that real quick. Jukebox and treadmill. We never did build a treadmill. I suppose we could do that. I mean, that wouldn't be a bad idea. Here, let's go ahead and build a treadmill just for the giggles. Although, where do we want to put this guy? Let's put it. Um, let's put it right there next to the vent. That way, when someone's using it, all their stink will blow out into another room. Sounds good to me. Yep, you're on your way. I was actually clicking to see if I could find how much uh, stuff is left. Okay, we're making progress. That's fine. I don't know if that needs anything. Like, does it need power or anything? It doesn't look like it. I know it creates power, so I guess it would make sense that it doesn't need power, but it still might need to be connected to something. There you go. Oh, you already did. I forgot about that. We have the module that automatically connects things. Ah, uh, it's so good. Okay, so we have basically strip-mined this planet, so there's nothing left of anything. Now, the question we have is where do we go from here? Where do we go from here? I'm kind of inclined to go to Zalinda. Wait, what? Oh. There are people there. Okay. Mining resources in a planet owned by another faction will decrease your relationship depending on the value of the resources mined. Well, let's travel there. We haven't been to a place that's owned by someone else, as far as I know. Oh. I guess we have, and we have strip-mined everything. My bad. So maybe we shouldn't be strip-mining everything. Maybe those weren't there before, I don't know. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna say that that wasn't there before, but probably wrong. We'll get moving when someone decides to fly this thing, so maybe that really is all the more reason for an autopilot. Auto kitchen. Maybe that's a module we install in this thing. I forget where it was. It was it was somewhere. It was some sort of upgrade somewhere. Let's go ahead and build some more of these guys. So we'll do some more reinforced walls right there, and that'll be fine. We'll get on that in a moment. Ideally, someone will build that one first. I hope they... Uh, guys. I mean, technically, we can get rid of that wall if they don't, but we'll see what they do. We'll see if they're idiots or not. Yep, they're idiots. They're never going to get to that one wall. And we'll just order deconstruction of that, and then we'll do things one at a time. It's fine. And... I guess we can also do... deconstruction of all of those. That'll be fine. Okay, so someone will now build that one because they can reach it. Imagine that. I think what we'll do is we'll get rid of this one, too. Um... Oh, you can't get out there because there's no... Duh, I just realized that. There's no way in into that area. Well, then here, let's put an airlock in... Right there. We'll get someone to airlock that space. And then that'll give them a, a pathway into there. Helps if you give them a way to get in there, doesn't it? Yeah. Go figure. Okay, there we go. Now people can do work. When I say people, I mean robots. Because robots. It's ordered to actually... Um, here, before we do that, let's build that wall. Because this room is not... 
airtight, and I don't know that this one still was technically, but um, here, let's deconstruct that wall. I'll be okay with that. Perfect. And then where does that leave us with our research? That everything is still moving. Okay. I probably should just leave that as a pop-up everywhere, but that's nah, fine. We're using all the power right now because these stations are running. So it's going to be helpful to get these guys online. Presumably they're all connected to something now. There we go. Looking good. So let's add some more of these guys then. I mean, we literally just made space for them, so... Let's go ahead and do it. There you go. And then, oh, I guess we need to deconstruct all of this floor right here, too. And then while that's all cooking, here, let me grab our dust accumulation cleaning cycle. And we'll just blast it onto all of those guys. Keep going, keep going. Keep going, and keep going. Come on. It's interesting that that one doesn't have anything to reach. Hmm. Okay. Well, I mean, it is what it is. So, you know, let's do a uh, reinforced wall socket, and we'll just do that guy right... Do that one right here, and then we'll add another one. If we can, <laughs> can we sneak one in over here? I don't know that we can. I guess we'll sneak one in right there, and we'll sneak one in right there as well. That'll be fine. That'll get everything on the network, and we'll be okay at that point. It is pretty nice not having to think too much about connecting these things. That is very, very handy. Um, nope. Okay. Click on that, then do that. Got it. Okay. There we go. We'll let those all be built. It's getting rid of some of our transistors and all that stuff, which is nice. I mean, I'm not trying to get rid of it. I'm just saying it's nice to be using some of those materials because we've very specifically built a bunch of them. And we are using the crap out of our power right now. Okay, processor efficiency upgrade. So that's a new thing that we can spit out probably from these guys, right? It's going to be in the fabricator. What are you in the middle of doing? You're assembling a reactor efficiency upgrade. And we have you making a bunch of them. And I think we might... Have we reached a bunch of them. Here, let's stop producing those. And let's do a processor efficiency upgrade. And we're going to do... Um, we'll do four of those guys. So where are our reactors? So we're going to give you an upgrade, and we'll install that, and we're going to give you an upgrade and install that, because we have two of them lying around at least. I mean, I haven't checked to see if there are more than that. Well, that's a stockpile of two. It's a stockpile of one, so that'll be fine. We're not really using the reactors all that much yet. We don't need to now. We especially don't need to now because now that we're no longer doing that research, the processor efficiency research, we don't have as much power draw, so that's okay. I did not plan this well, did I? Because that guy has nothing to connect to. Okay. Um, that has nothing to connect to, and those have nothing to connect to. Uh, this is kind of the bad point of using the automatic connectors, apparently. Because they don't necessarily work the way I want them to. Uh, let's do a connector. So this guy will be in reach. And we'll let someone build that. Which I'm hoping connects to that one. We'll then connect to all of these guys. And not connect directly to the solar panels. to manually do this, I guess. And then 
I think this one... Oh, you're not in range. Never mind. Never mind. I don't know why they're, they're stopping all of a sudden and not doing things, but that's cool. You're not in range, but we can do another connector over here. And I'll just do a big one. I don't care. It's fine. It's fine. So connect you to that, connect you to that, connect you to that one and that one. Those guys are all done. Let's go ahead and, well, we'll wait until the rest of those finish. Oh, mutiny. That sounds exciting. Who has become hostile? Um, where is this going? Achievement unlocked. First contact. Um, so army is the one who is hostile. Oh! Deborah is putting army down. You do not take the coffee, buddy. You do not take the coffee without stopping and making another one first. Let that be a lesson to you, dude. Army'd been around for a while, too. Army's one of our older guys, if I remember right. Man, all sorts of new things have been added to the game. Deborah, if I had a way to give you a commendation, dude. Deborah, I don't know if this is going to work because things are like broken half the time for me, but let's try this. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, go. You can't hear that. There was clapping. There was a lot of clapping going on. A lot of clapping and stuff, and you can't hear it. So I'm going to like talk over it. Maybe you'll hear it behind me. I don't know. Whatever. Clapping, 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 clapping going on. Wow, that was fantastic. Uh, what do we have not enough glass for? Oh, wow. We've run out of glass? Okay. Um, glass. I know we can make glass. We need... Hmm, which one do we need for that? I don't remember now. Is it the converter? I don't think it's the converter. Because that's that thing. It's not that guy. It's not that guy. And I think we're processing everything right now. So it's not an assembler, is it? Stop producing that. It's not that. I didn't think so. That didn't make sense to me. Alright, I guess I need to go in the codex. I think we're just waiting for the quartz furnace to uh, do quartz things. So, well, I guess we'll get around to that whenever we get around to that. We have arrived at a planet, though. Um, where are we? All right. Nope, not over there. Where are we? We're over here. So, can we do anything? Oh, we can just straight up trade with these peeps. Hey, look at that. They got stuff. Let's trade with you. Uh, yes. Time has stopped. Aurelia Harrington is their trader. And they have... Oh, they have an autopilot upgrade. That was something I was thinking of. Crafting. That's interesting, because now you kind of have to make a decision of, you know, do you want to go strip mine their planet or not? Because previously, you could just strip mine the planet, and it did not matter. But now looking at this, it's kind of like, uh, you know... That might not be a good idea to do that. I mean, one, we're going to make people mad, which I don't necessarily want to make people mad when we're trying to find a new planet. You know, I don't want to... I don't want to come tromping through and wreck someone else's, but... Let's go ahead and buy a couple things, though. We'll buy, um... We'll buy both of those. And what do we have for monies? We have 35 in our wallet, so that's not too bad. And we'll buy uh, all of those guys, because that's going to make things go faster. And we're going to buy one of them, because I don't trust humans. It's going to be most of our money. That's fine, though. So I think we need to make, like, a bridge upgrade thing. Nope, there it is. We can just straight up install the upgrade. There we go. Done. Well, since we clearly are not ready to go into uh, anything yet in terms of uh, getting out of this star system, let's just go ahead and fly on over to another another planet. And then we will... Let's see. I want to say that maybe one of these guys has an upgrade in it. You do. So one, two... Oh, they all do. Interesting. That one does not. We'll give you a processor efficiency upgrade. And then because we're just kind of in a point right now where... We do need a lot of titanium, or a lot of quartz, rather. We'll just 
put an extra one in the quartz thing for now, and we'll, we'll just have to call that good. So I think that is where we shall leave everything for the moment, is that we have done good things. We'll install our last upgrades into these guys, because, you know what, let's just make them super, 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 super efficient. Why not? We'll pick up on the next one as we probably finish researching security. Catch that one, Dylan. Thanks for watching. See you later.